Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI video and in this Power BI, Power BI video I will show you how you can change the look and feel of the slicer. So if you see right now what we have is the range slicer that we have created in the previous video where we can select any range and if we have created any chart or anything we can change their uh, look and feel or we can restrict them based on the dates that we have we are selecting here so what if if we don't want the range over here but a different component maybe a list or a drop down so the way you can do this is once you have created this you can come over here in this small drop down if you are able to see this right a small triangle or a half triangle sort of an icon and what you do is click over here right now what we have is the between right but if you want let's say list or drop down we can click over here so let's first click on list and the date is now coming as a list so this way we have the option where we can choose it like a list where we can select and if you want to select multiple items hold down the control key and select the multiple i'm holding down the control key and that's why i'm able to select the multiple dates what if if you want to uh, use the drop down so again you need to come over here and click on the drop down once the drop down is present you can click over here again the same thing if you want multiple dates hold down the control key and you will be done so so this is the way by which you can do this and the benefit is that uh, with the drop down you get an interactive look and feel and it allows you to do a multiple selection with list it will be a big but sometimes let's say you want to show year or you want to show quarter which is not uh, in a high volume or not a long list then showing the list makes sense because user has the visibility okay i can select whatever year i want whatever quarter i want but if you have this long list then either the range or the drop down makes sense and i wanted to show you these options so that you have the flexibility where you are not stuck only with the date ranges or the date calendar which was opening by default but you have the option of using list or drop down based on the dashboard you are designing so that's about it i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic